against America's Danny Baggish. Now he faces another man donning the stars and stripes. And he is starting 25. to earn his stripes. And we'll get another one if he can knock out one of the 25. stars of 2022. It's Jules Van Dongen, the American Dutch Dragon, against Cool Hand, Luke right. Humphreys. I'm Chris Murphy, and Dan Dawson has joined me to talk you through this battle for a place in the last 16. Yep, cheers, Murph. Jules Van Dongen, the Dutch Dragon, playing in his first ever board final in one of these players' championship events because it has been a baptism of fire 96. for the Dutch-born American who's still commuting from Kansas, Missouri, going back and forth. He's bringing the family with him sometimes. Well I'm not sure if they're with him here in Barnsley this week. But it has been difficult for Jules Van Dongen to find his feet. We saw him in Q school, and he, he breezed through that. And he had some very impressive averages, but it's taken him quite a while to reproduce that sort of stuff. We've seen him around the sort of 97, 98 mark. 44. Already this week. Won one game against Jack Main a couple of days ago. Average similar in losing Six. to Dirk van Dijvenboda in round one yesterday. So I th it looks like there's a sign of improvement from him. Yeah, Main, of course, who we've mentioned already, is at two nine darters in the last couple of days, having never hit one before. 85. Van Dong and win a board, having never won one before. We'll have to get past Luke Humphreys for the first time. 60. If he does do that, they have met once before. It was here in Barnsley, the second Players' Championship event of the year, and Humphreys won it in the first round 6-2, having won the tournament the previous day. 59. I mean, the, the list of players that he's beaten on this series of events, Jules Van Dong, and it's not a very long list, but weirdly, <laughs> sort of high-profile players. Martin Schindler, the German number two, that was the first player he beat. Thibaut Tricol, the Lakeside finalist. That was the next one. But then he went a whole load of events going out in round one. Beat Jack Main a couple of days ago. Then Danny Van Tripe and Josh Rock in the second round here. Game shot. But 66 is taken out in two darts by Luke Humphreys to take the first leg in this one. And to be honest, with the way that the world of darts is right now, this would be his biggest win since getting his tour card at the start of the year. 83. That's for today's tournament in general well it's been a contrast to what we saw yesterday when we saw a lot of the seeds go out early including the top one in Luke Humphreys most of the top seeds have made it through to this third round stage however the second seed Nathan Aspinall won't be going any further 58. than that he's been knocked out by Christoph Kachuk 6-4 Pole seeing off Aspinall who did stage a fight back 55. he was 5-1 down in that match Nathan Aspinall Martin Schindler and Jose de Sosa, the other two players already through to the last 16. Schindler's seen off Steve Beaton 6 1, and de Sosa seeing off Richie Sousa. Edhouse 6 3. Yeah, another impressive display from Jose de Sousa. I think he's back, you know, he's not quite firing on all cylinders, but my word, what a player. Well, he's one of the players to fit a nine darter as well, isn't he, this week? I mean, it might be quicker to tell you who hasn't. How many are we at now? Uh, we're up to seven since the 60. European Tour qualifiers on Tuesday. And there's still another day and a half of darts to go. Half of it, that half-day stream well today. And then we've got qualifiers for the World Series finals coming up tomorrow. You can follow progress of the players at the Dart Connect website for that. 134. Well, Van Dongen gets himself down to a one treble combo finish, but Luke Humphries is already on one. Can't find the trouble required. So it's a tricky 119. Nobody's favourite check out this. Because you get the treble, and then you might only still end up with a dart at the ball. 12 segment now. Oh, well, you will get a dart at double. Double 13. Yes. Just checking. But not checking out. 106. Yeah, it was a great attempt by JVD. But shot. Luke Humphreys isn't messing around when it comes to finishers. The 66 followed by the 52. And he breaks as early as possible and leads 2 0. Yeah, he's had a bit of a wait for this game, Luke Humphreys, hasn't he? Well, Having we'll blasted past Luke Peters 6 0 with an average, what, more than 108. Yeah, 108.65 to be exact. 80. 
cool hand Luke versus no legs Luke. Certainly so. This at the very top of the draw. Pretty obvious, he's the number one seed, Luke Humphreys. The winner will take on either Florian Hempel or Matt Campbell, two unseeded players. 140. But in the same quarter of the draw, we've got one of the top seeds, Dimitri Vandenberg, still going. He's in an all-Belgian clash with Brian Roman. Ross Smith is one of the second-tier seeds. He's been playing some decent darts this week after a, a tricky year so far, Ross Smith. He's taken on Steve West. 180. Maximum from Jules Van Dongen means he's threatening a break of throw here. 135. So he's threatening it, but Humphreys has left that 66 that he took out to hold his throw in the first leg. Needs to find a treble. 19s, maybe 15s. That was the intention, but he was a long way off the mark. 69. Double 16. 50. First time he's missed a dart. Double Luke Humphreys and Van Dongen has three at the same target. Only Great needs shot. one. Break straight back. Game on. Well, as I said at the start of this one, it's the first time that Jules has ever gone past round two in one of these events, so it's uncharted territory. 96. But if he were to find a way to come through this, it would be an unseeded player in the last 16. It would be an unseeded player in the quarterfinals. He hasn't been playing darts very long, has he, Jules Van Dongen? No a time at all. Remarkable story. He rocked up at some well, events, didn't he, in America last year and, and won them. And it's not as if, you know, you hear some players who just seem to have this natural ability where the first time they pick up a set of darts and all of a sudden they're, they're averaging 70s, 80s, you know, very, very good local league standard pretty much as soon as they play. One like that for Jules. Him and his what mates, a bunch of expats, Dutch expats playing out in Missouri. Like they were 50 average guys. That was, you know, you and me, Murph. That's people watching, people watching at home. They'll be better players than that. But in the space of... A couple of years, he's taken himself onto the PDC tour. It's astonishing. 51. He also qualified for the, the WDF World Championship at Lake Zard. Didn't he allowed to play by the PDC oh, along with a few other tour card holders? Felt a bit sorry for him there. We'll come back to that in a moment. Yeah, but he's, he's come back from 2-0 down to tie up the match at 2-2 with that double top. Back-to-back -back 13 darters for Jules Van Dongen. Yeah, he lost at the lakeside to Ryan Duvrader, but it was in a match that was easy to be distracted in. It was a generator failure caused a big delay during the game, and they came back and, and played the match, and it wasn't... They weren't able to broadcast it live, so it was a bit of a, a subdued affair. I still stand by my theory that it was his walk-on music that blew the generator. <laughs> Yeah, well, at some point, I assume we're going to have a Jules Van Dongen versus Dirk Van Dijvenberde game where we get the the mad walk-on derby. Yeah, real head-banging stuff. Fifty-nine. Oh, looking like a comfortable hold of throw for Luke Humphreys here. Fifty-three. He's going to have plenty of time. A little surge from Van Dongen seems 40. to have ended. Sixteen for tops. Thirty-six. Just over the top, but it shouldn't matter. The day is going to end for either Rob Cross or Keen Barry who are facing each other in the board final over on board 13. It is in a last leg decider, that one. European champion Rob Cross, the number three seed here today. Oh, this is getting messy. 26. This is getting very messy. Uh, he's left it awkward as well, hasn't he? 
Yeah, I'm absolutely bemused, you know, that the first round matches we had on this ball, barring a good performance from Stephen Bunting, were pretty dreadful, to be honest. And Matt Campbell and Florian Hempel have ended 80. up playing in the board final. It's 5-2 to Campbell. He's averaging 107.84. Hempel's averaging 103. As Humphreys finally gets the double he needed. And that's after Hempel averaged 102 and Campbell averaged more than 100 to beat Stephen Bunting in the second round. Well, just getting the dross out of the way early on while you're commentating on it, Matt. Well, I think obviously it's the, the cameras that affected them. <laughs> <laughs> 81. Dave Chisnell's in a bit of a battle at the minute. He's been playing some excellent stuff all week. But he's 4-3 down to Pete Burgoyne, a man who has only driven up from uh, the East Midlands where he's based. This morning got the call very, very late on after Ryan Meikle was ill last night and decided that he wasn't going to be in a state to play today. So it could turn out to be an incredible day for Pete Burgo and reaching the last 16 if he takes out Dave Chisnell. Two more legs for him needed. Well, speaking of drives, he's a, he's a scratch golfer, Pete Burgo, and a professional cricketer. Some people are just good at everything. 140. The Battle of Belgium has been won by Dimitri Vandenberg. He's seen off Brian Roman 6-1. And that match you mentioned, Dan, Six. between Rob Cross and Keane Barry has gone the way of the number three seed, Cross, 6-5. 45. Missed opportunity there for Luke Humphreys. Only gets himself down to 1-3-5. Van Dongen will fancy getting two visits at this. He will need them both. Uh, doesn't like the lie on that treble 20. It comes down to the 16s. Nothing wrong with that, but by only hitting the single, he's got a potentially tricky 60 to negotiate. 94. Yeah, often about the first dart, isn't it, on this finish? Does it get in the way? That is in the way, right in the way. And you can see the look on his face and how much he's had to move. This will be a wonderful dart. Well, better there than missing high, really. Double 10, clear bed. And he lands it to tie up the match at 3-3. Three, three. He's being given a workout here, Luke Humphreys. May not be a high-intensity workout, but it's a workout 60. nonetheless. 104. He had a great year, hasn't he? Great first half of the year, Luke Humphreys. Many fancied him at the match play. Many still fancy him to maybe add major honours to his CV before the end of the season. Only Michael Van Gerwen has picked up more titles in 2022 than Cool Hand Luke. 44. He's not shy of talking himself up Luke Humphreys he does it in a quite an understated way but he's absolutely a hundred percent convinced of his own abilities and what he is capable of doing 59 he said it after winning the first one of these this year after the final against Ryan Searle well, I believe that I've got it in me to win major honours and multiple major honours and this year as well and to be fair to him in the subsequent weeks he won four European tours so he wasn't lying A great 140. player, but he is being given a hard battle here by Van Dongen. Another in there. Leaves double 19. 139. Can't quite find it, and there is an opportunity here for Van Dongen to steal a march. He's going to get a dart to go in the lead here. Double top. And those first two darts were bang on exactly where he aimed them. Can he find the tops? No, he can't. Massive let off. Double eight. Double four. 15. Well, he may have been let off, but some tiny margins of misses there have allowed Jules Van Dongen back in. Again, he can't find the tops. He did it double 10 last time he went for it, and he's nailed it again. And we see a little bit of a celebration there. A shake of the fist from Jules Van Dongen and a shake of the head from Luke Humphreys. And it could really shake up this tournament. 
because if the top seed goes, then I can tell you it'll either be well, Jules Van Dongen or Florian Hempel in the quarterfinals because Florian Hempel... Oh, sorry, no, hang on. Shut my mouth. Matt Campbell has won that one, I beg your pardon. Florian Hempel, 102 average. Not enough because Campbell has averaged 106, but it will be an unseeded player in the quarterfinals. So shut my mouth has got to be the best line of commentary I've ever heard you utter. Nine. Thanks, Murph. Now take your own advice. Quiet. All right, do it on your own then. Well, I, I did do uh, Sean Wilkinson against John Brown on my own, and I think that was punishment enough. Sixty-one. Eighty-one. Looking a little bit frustrated, isn't he? Cutting it. A kind of deflated figure, Luke Humphreys. Well, he's only averaging in the 80s here. And that makes him vulnerable. Makes him vulnerable to anyone. But particularly Jules Van Dongen, who, look, confidence has got to have been thin on the ground. He's admitted in recent weeks that he has found life very, very tough. And the results have shown that. There's no getting away from it. But he's played some of the best stuff we've seen from him this week. He's doing things here that he's never done before. Humphreys, though, on the brink 97. of a break back, unless we see an explosion of excellence here from Jules Van Dongen. Not going to happen. But there have been misses at doubles from Luke Humphreys. But you don't see him miss that double ten there. It is four apiece. It's an immediate break back. So cool hand Luke keeps his cool. No panic. He is in control of this game. 59. But it is such a light grip that he has on it. Last 16 match coming up here after this will be Martin 97. Schindler against either the double nine dart hero this week, Jack Main, or the World Cup winner, Simon Whitlock, ahead of his return to his homeland. Yeah, it's only just got going that game. Simon Whitlock's gone 1 0 up with a 12 dart leg. Dave Chisel and Pete Burgoyne, and the last seven. leg decider. That could have a big impact on the outcome of today if Pete Burgoyne were to just nick it against the number 10 seed. Not the slowest player on tour, is he? Jules Van Dongen, but it's certainly not a pace that will suit Luke Humphreys. Has to make sure that he still throws with his usual quick rhythm. Fifty-eight. Just the fifty-eight from Van Dongen doesn't apply as much pressure as he would have liked, and there will be a dart at double sixteen. But it's only one dart, and that's not enough for Luke Humphreys. He's going to have to improve if he is going to add to his title haul today. And that was his tenth dart missed at double in this match. 60. He's got three more at it. And it's become more difficult because that dart was so close. Game shot. But he does manage somehow to find a way in, and he might find a way to win. Yeah, Dave Chisnell's found a way to win 6-5 against Pete Burgoyne. So Chizzy is still going strong. 180. Luke Humphrey is the top seed. Leads this game, but a third 180 from Jules Van Dongen makes it pretty likely yeah. we're going to a last leg decider. Yeah, three maximums to the one from Luke Humphrey's rare that he gets beaten in that metric. 93. 140. Of course, Humphreys would have the throw in that 
Last leg decided, but look, it's one leg of darts to decide which of them goes through that to the is. last 16. Yeah, and if they both carry on at the levels they've been well showing in this game, right. likelihood it if 15 darts wins it. They're very possible. They both get opportunities. Well, that's the old cardboard box shot. Big fish and little fish. 54. Jules Van Dongen can't take the little in. And Luke Humphreys doesn't even threaten the big in. 96. Big moment then for Jules Van Dongen. Perhaps the biggest moment so far in his PDC career. Double 14 to force a last leg shootout. 48. And he can't quite manage it, so Humphreys could seal the deal here. He's been pushed. Game shot on the match. But he stands up to it. Cool hand Luke Humphreys scintillating in round two, struggling in round three, but he is in to round four. Jules Van Dongen, his first ever run to a board final in players' championship events. There's certainly progress for the Dutch Dragon, but he does not progress any further today. Cool hand Luke Humphreys, despite missing all those darts at double and only an 88 average, he is still in with a chance of adding to his title haul. He will play Matt Campbell of Canada for a spot in the quarterfinals at Players' Championship 24.